Raw Stuff with Roger. Hey guys, today we are going to do a little Toon Squid animation. And that little wavy arm there was just me kind of being silly. So I'm going to erase that layer first. And this is an app store available called Toon Squid. It's about 10 bucks. So we're going to go in here and we're going to go to the library. We're going to go to the plus button. And we're going to go import from photos. And we are just going to upload a photo that we uh, just made of a reindeer and a snowman at the North Pole. I'm going to change it on its side and make it a little bigger. Now today we're going to just do a simple animation with this. And if you follow along, I'm sure you can do it. Uh, you can use any animation program really. Today we're going to use Toon Squid. So I'm, I'm making it. 10 frames long to start with and that's going to change and I'm putting a layer above just so that there is whatever work I'm doing I'm doing on top of the picture so I want to change the way the picture looks so I have to do it on top and I'm going to pick a brush that's a rough one and for today's purposes I'm going to pick rough ink it comes with Toon Squid and I'm going to color pick the background and just draw over the arm and kind of make it disappear and draw where it was and then look at that it's gone so that's a layer over top of the layer now I'm gonna put one more above that and I'm gonna make a new arm now I'm gonna look at the other arm and try and make it the same size so I adjusted the size a little bit and then two two fingers touch will make it erase and I have to do this quite a few times to get it right and that's okay because that's how art works if you have to do it 20 or 30 times sometimes you need to do it just to get it looking just right so now I can make a different layer because I want to also make these eyes move now I can make one layer and move that layer around or another way to do it is this way that I'm going to show you which is I'm going to erase the eyes that are there well, I'm not erasing them. I'm coloring over them. And then I'm going to put the eyeballs in a different position. Now here we're going to make some closed eyes. And then I'm going to make another layer. Instead of changing the layer around as I animate, I'm going to make them different layers because you can turn the layers off and on. So you can make them visible or invisible. And that's how we're going to do this simple animation effect today. So we're going to do a couple of different eyeballs. And this is how it's kind of, we're doing two different kinds of animation really because we're, we're doing animation that's kind of an overlay where the eyes are overlaid. And then we're going to animate the arm by moving that layer around. So it kind of gives you the idea of two different ways of doing it, but it's pretty simple. So once we get the eyes done, and then we're going to take a look and see how we like it. And that looks pretty good to me. So we're going to go down here and we're going to extend this drawing. Now each frame is uh, a very short span of time. So it takes 24 frames to make up a second. And that's, that's how fast this animation is moving. Now we can change the speed of the animation. But for this purpose, we're doing that speed. So we're going to look here. I made another layer. I zoomed in and I was like, oh yeah, I don't need that. I already made that layer down here. So we're going to start the process of animation. So you see the picture below. We're not going to change that. Now this picture, we're going to use the scissors and we're going to cut it. And when we do that, we make two different pictures essentially. So if we move anything around in the one, it does not affect the other one. So these layers are like pictures that we can adjust as we go. So we're going to we're going to zoom in on the arm and sometimes sometimes I pinch the wrong thing and move the wrong thing and that's okay it takes a minute. And once you get into the animation layer, now you might have to press the thing at the top with all the dots on it to get it to to work like this and that's what you want and then you just move that little tiny dot that you see in the middle there and then you can make like a hinge kind of where the door uh, meets the wall in your bedroom. And that's what we kind of done with that little dot as we moved it. 
and we're going to split this into a bunch of different frames and we're just going to move it up and down. So we split it and we click on it and we move it. When we click on a different frame, it automatically clicks on the bottom uh, layer. Uh, you can even name these layers. It's pretty easy. I should have done that to show you guys how to do it. You just click on it and hold it and then you can change it. So you split it and I'm just going to make a couple of splits here. So to make things a little bit easier and I'm going to go to them and take a look at where the arm is and go, oh, yep, yeah, here I need to move it a little bit. So I click on it and move it and click on the next one and just click on it and just move it a little bit. And I'll split it again click on it and move it a little more and then I'm gonna do one more I think there we go and I'm making it kind of flap like a bird that's the idea and in animation sometimes you want to just exaggerate things like these eyes the movement is really exaggerated and you see here I'm not moving anything I'm just clicking a layer off and on so I'm clicking on a layer and off a layer to make it look like the eyes are moving Pretty neat, hey? And you can kind of move these layers any way you like and do kind of some neat things. Like you can make the eyeballs bigger or smaller or move them around. You could make them appear on the snowman's head. You can do anything you want. That's kind of your imagination can, can kind of run wild here once you learn the program. And it takes a little bit of time and that's okay. And then we're gonna play the animation that we made. And you see how this doesn't go all the way to the end? There we go. Now it's at the end, so it's the same length. And we play it. And those little arrows, when you click on that, it means it loops. So it goes around and around. And that looks too fast. So we're going to slow it down. And we're going to try again. There we go. 17 frames per second looks a little bit better. And that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day.